All right, and get ready for some aftershocks to the banking industry because while most bank stocks are up today, there's one biggie that is down, Wells Fargo, with disappointed investors. A couple of the others did as well, but Wells Fargo has taken on the chin uh, for the most part uh, since the losses weren't as extreme as some thought for most of the other banks. Uh, they're getting the better of the doubt, not so Wells Fargo. So what's going on here? Let's ask former Wells Fargo CEO Richard Kavasovich. Richard, very good to have you. Pleasure to be with you, Neil. What do you make of the reaction in general, first to Wells Fargo, but more collectively to a banking industry that some say is due for a comeback this quarter because it had such a lousy first quarter? Well, let's put it in perspective. Uh, there has been practically no revenue growth in the banking industry the last uh, few years. Uh, the reason is that uh, our economic growth has been about 2%, uh, far below what usually occurs after a recovery. And we've had zero interest rates, uh, which we've never had in, historically for seven years. Uh, also, there's been an, an incredible increase in regulatory and compliance costs, uh, uh, security, uh, cybersecurity investments, etc. So, uh, but, but despite those uh, headwinds, uh, the last couple of years have been record earnings uh, for the industry. The balance sheets are the best they've ever been. There's more capital than ever. But from these record earnings, uh, uh, the only way they're going to grow from the record earnings is if revenue increases. And the only way the revenue is going to increase in the banking industry is if the economy does better, does much better than 2%. And we should be able to be growing at 3% or more, but we're not because of monetary and fiscal policies. But and what, Richard, when the economy what, grows uh, faster, uh, then we will have uh, a normalization of, uh, of the Federal Reserve uh, interest rates. Which we're, getting signs of, which we're getting signs of, uh, you know, already signs that many think that the Fed could be more likely to ease sooner rather than later. There's a difference of opinion on that. But how does that factor into banks and this notion that maybe the days of real easy money are gone, but the flip side is maybe it boosts your loan business? What do you think? Yes, I, uh, there's no question. Again, the reason that they will increase interest rates, though, is that the economy is uh, strong and they feel it's going to continue to be strong. So you, that, that you goes hand in hand, hand in hand. So a strong economy helps banks in terms of more loans and more financial transactions and higher interest rates uh, helps banks because they're earning, they're earning basically zero on their deposits at the moment. So well, do you buy that the economy is strong? Banks and do you buy that, that the economy is pick up steam? Uh, well, I, I think the economy, uh, my guess is the economy is going to continue to grow about uh, at the 2% because yeah. our policies haven't changed. But at, even at a 2% growth, that causes uh, employment to increase. So I think the Fed will uh, increase, industry, in, uh, increase interest rates probably in June. And I think there will be at least another one for the year, if not two more. Again, assuming that the economy yeah. continues at least at the levels of the past. Uh, because that will cause uh, employment to uh, the unemployment rate to continue to decrease. As, as a banking guy, Richard, real quickly, a former CEO, do you uh, worry with the rhetoric you hear out of Bernie Sanders, to extent to you know Hillary Clinton, that the big banks are getting away with murder, uh, that there's going to be hell to pay if either one of them become president? Uh, it's a, like a pitchfork campaign against money center banks. Well, I do worry. I, I would just tell you, though, it's political rhetoric. Uh, we have to have banks. We have to have banks of all sizes. And there's no way that we can serve uh, our domestic, uh, our, our, our big corporations uh, in the United States who have international operations without large banks. But we also have to have small banks uh, doing well. And because of the uh, in unbelievably increase in regulations, which I think uh, both of, of the people you mentioned were going to increase more, uh, small banks can't even survive in this environment. So hopefully they see the light after the election, whoever is the, the president, and that we can uh, indeed improve our economic growth uh, by a strong banking industry, and we can't without one. Well put. Very good having you on again, Richard Kovacevic, the former Wells Fargo CEO.